The Inner Master Hello, this is Chris speaking. Wake up with a video about The Inner Master as explained by Sri Aurobindo. One of the most interesting things that Rubindu explains in his books, like the synthesis of yoga and the life divine, is the inner master. What is the inner master? Spiritual seekers, they tend to look for an outer master, for a guru to imitate or learn from someone who shows them the way out. But there's no way out, there's only a way in. This is the most important realization. There's only inwards. Once you go really deeply inwards, you can zoom out again to get a larger universal perspective. But first you have to zoom inwards and see all your delusions of failure. See your minority complex and your fear and your trauma. Once you've seen this, you will see something else inside that for which you have been looking for all those years or decades even, the inner master or mistress. Now, there is something inside of you which is what you were looking for, the guru, but it's not someone else, it's yourself. And he or she will teach and tell you everything you want to know and you need to know. So look no further. It's all inside. And this inner master is connected to the divine, to the absolute, to the infinite, to the universe, whatever you want to call it. All teachings are ultimately a way to yourself, to your inner master. This inner master is what some people call your true self. Yeah, it is often said there is no self. There's the ego, which is a bunch of delusions and programs, and then what's below or beyond that. Yeah, there is no other kind of ego when we are so identified with the ego that we think that a true self, in quotation marks, must be a, a better version of the ego. No, it's not a better version of the ego. Once the ego starts to dissolve, there is no, no other thing coming, taking its place that is somehow better. That is also why you don't have to improve somehow. You have to don't have to work on becoming a better you. No. But there is something that is already perfect. You are already perfect. And this something that can show you how and why is called the inner master. And you don't have to look anywhere else for it, only inside. So I would look very closely, if I were you, at why you're watching so many videos and reading so many books and so on. Because the only quality of those, the only usefulness of those is to point you towards your inner master. You will not get any information, any valid information from those videos and books except to look inside, look inside, look inside, look inside. That's it. And look inside with complete honesty and openness and vulnerability. Yes, it will hurt for a while what you will see and experience there, but not for very long, actually. If you really accept what's coming, then this inner master will come up, will show up. 
and there will be no more need for external teachers or gurus or influencers. We have discussed on the Facebook group several teachers recently. That's interesting, but that's not in any way crucial. It's just a hobby, a pastime. What's interesting is what is inside of you and why are you avoiding looking at it? Anything that you don't want to look at, anything that you run away from, anything that you feel is horrible, that you're afraid of, that's where you have to go. That's where you have to look. That's the direction. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on Facebook or Patreon. Thank you for hitting the bell button and subscribing and sharing the videos with your friends. I'll see you soon. And look inside.